My name is Anton Monk and I'm co-founder and VP Technology at Entropic and I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you about the new Entropic and some exciting announcements that we have related to Mocha. Traditionally Entropic has been known of course as the Mocha company. We invented the technology, I helped create the alliance and uh, our chips are in tens of millions of devices around the US and we're very proud of what Mocha has been able to accomplish and, uh, and the company is as part of that. But uh, about a year ago we acquired the set-top box division of Trident Microsystems, allowing us to uh, have a more integrated approach to devices inside the home that are connected over Mocha. And a proof point of the, uh, the decision to do that is a couple of announcements that we have with Comcast this week. Uh, one of them is related to what Comcast calls their XI3, which is their IP client. And we announced both with Humax and Technicolor, along with Comcast, that we have design wins in uh, two of those uh, new products. And that IP client really represents a shift in the architecture inside the home, uh, still based around Mocha, to a gateway client architecture. We had multi-room DVR for a while uh, with Mocha, that was really the killer app. And then we sh are shifting now into this gateway client where the gateway itself terminates the broadcast network uh, and the data network and, uh, and, and the conditional access and security and transitions it to an all IP network inside the home. And that's really where Entropic is positioning ourselves for. Another announcement we had with Comcast and Aris was for what Comcast calls the XG5. This is a, a, an exciting new headless gateway, which is basically Doxis in and Mocha out and can serve up videos inside the home. Uh, of other news that's of interest to Mocha is, uh, is South America. We announced with DirecTV Panamericana that uh, they are deploying uh, our Mocha chips in their new deployments. So we're very excited about that. A few years ago, we, uh, we, we, we saw the culmination of our efforts in Europe with UPC deploying in their Horizon box Mocha, and now we see a shift uh, where we're, we're propagating Mocha into other parts of the world. Uh, specifically South America. So hopefully uh, the Far East is next on the agenda and we have some efforts there as well. Uh, separately, but also related to Mocha, we have uh, a couple of other devices that we're showing. One of them is what we call a multi-band adapter. So one of the issues related to uh, adoption in retail, one of the concerns was that uh, retailers like Best Buy don't want multiple SKUs of Mocha. And as you may know, there are multiple bands in Mocha. Uh, the cable companies and Verizon use the D-band, DirecTV uses the E-band, uh, Acrostar Dish Network uses the F-band. So it's a complicated thing for a consumer to, to try to explain which band they need. With a multi-band adapter, it automatically configures itself to the correct band that's being used inside the house. The consumer does not need to know what band they're using, even what, uh, what provider they're using. So we think uh, this is a way to increase the adoption of Mocha devices in retail that attach to existing Mocha networks inside the home. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, another interesting uh, Mocha-related device is our USB to Mocha adapter. Traditionally, people have used Ethernet to Mocha adapters, but with all the new devices that are sitting next to the television, all the new devices plugged into those power strips behind the television, they're getting pretty full. And with a USB powered dongle, you can see a scenario where, again, ease of adoption in retail, a consumer has a television downstairs in the basement or they have it somewhere else in the house, power cords are, are all used up uh, and a USB dongle just plugs right into that device and provides Mocha connectivity to the rest of the Mocha network inside the house. So that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, that's the new Entropic and some of the exciting announcements we've had uh, at this show. Thanks.